What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build a Lego Bioshock Big Daddy. So in case you haven't played any of the Bioshock games, Big Daddies are basically these mutated divers that roam the underwater city of Rapture and they're featured in the first two Bioshock games. So on my Lego version I've tried to include all of the most important details such as the massive drill that's built into one of the arms, the diving suit, that's part of the body and some breathing gear and oxygen tanks on the back and of course some poseable limbs and legs so let's take a look at all the pieces you're going to need to build one okay so we'll build the big daddy in three sections and first we'll start with the body and the head so here's the pieces you're going to need to build the middle section and once you have the pieces you can start off by taking this 2 by 2 round plate and this inverted bracket piece and just place that on the top then take a couple of dark grey studs or you can also use a dark grey plate if you want and just place them there next we can take a 1x2 plate with this bar piece put that on top and then separate that by another plate just in the middle just to give it some height and place your second 1x2 plate with the bar piece on the end just next to it, like that and then in this gap in the middle you need to take a couple of 1x1 bricks with this stud on the side and place both of them facing outwards like that and then on top of that you can take a 1x2 tile with the stud in the centre and put that on top and what these three studs will allow us is to stick some of these dish pieces on later on in the build and give some shape to the head and make it seem more like a diving suit so next we take this 1x2 tile piece and just put that on the other end there just to smooth it out and now on the front of this inverted bracket just put all four of your transparent lego studs and if you played Bioshock, you know that the default state or the colour of the eyes of a Big Daddy are yellow. But you can also change them to red and green depending on what colour studs you have or want. And then finally, to make this diving suit helmet seem a little bit more round, just add a couple of these, in, not inverted, a couple of these satellite dish pieces and just stick them on the sides where these open studs are and that forms a bit more round head and to round off the top of the diving suit gear you place a third one just like that now to form the protective roll cage you're going to need to take this piece and in case you don't know what it is I'll leave a link in the description to the real name but it's basically a hospital stretcher carrier piece and you can get these in plenty of sets and again I'll leave a link in the description for all the sets you can get this from and the official name for it. So you attach this to the ends of these bars you've left and you can see it fits quite perfectly and it might take a little bit of bending to basically bend the roll cage all the way around but once you have it in position you can just align it in the center and that's almost done you can just add some more supports to the roll cage and for that you're going to need some minifigure hands in the same color as your roll cage so to do that just clip both your hands onto this bar surface of the roll cage and you can just rotate them around once you've done although it's probably easier to first clip the minifigure hands on before you rotate them and you just want to make sure they're held on not fully just a little bit lower than where the bar piece ends and you can see what I mean if I show you just like that and that allows you to place them up and just move them around until you get a nice look for the roll cage of your body and now this provides an area where we can attach the arms and the legs Okay, so next we'll build the legs of the Big Daddy and again, here are the pieces you're going to need to build those. So once you have your pieces, 
You can start by using this one by one brick with the studs on five sides and just rotating that so the side without the stud on it is facing backwards. That will be the back of the Big Daddy. And next, take a one by one cheese slope piece and just place that on the front there and add a couple of these T-bar pieces and just slide them in so they're about halfway and this way you'll be able to fit both of them in so they're equal and if you look inside you can see how far you can slide both of the bars in so they're still equal distance apart and this is where you can attach your legs to so you can put this aside for now and to build both of the legs it's pretty simple just take a 1x2 plate and a round 1x1 tile just stick that on there and then for the leg itself just use a 1x1 tube piece and you can see how this flat round tile piece creates a really cool look almost as if it's a steel capped toe and then to attach a leg you just take one of these bar pieces with the clips on end and just slide that through the tube piece like that and you do almost exactly the same for the other side and then once you have both of your legs you can attach these to the torso just on the back of these T-shaped bar pieces just like that and they should clip in quite nicely and you can pose the legs and move them however you want but I'll just keep them in a fairly generic pose and again you can put these aside for now and next we'll build the arms and the oxygen gear okay so now to build the final part of your Lego Big Daddy here are the pieces you're going to need and again once you have your pieces you can start off by taking this one by one brick with studs on two sides and attaching a one by one plate with this clip on the end of it just attach that so that's like that and then on the top of that you take the one by one tile with the clip on top of that attach that there and you can take a lego revolver piece and just attach that upside down onto the clip and this provides a good angle for the valve at the top of the oxygen tank and for that you should use a lego steering wheel and although it's a little bit oversized for the scale of the minifigure it still looks really cool and definitely looks like a valve so you can put this structure aside for now and now we'll build the arms and to build the first arm it's quite simple you just take one of the round pieces and a one by one stud but you need to to have this hole in the center that's very important and just attach that on one end of the arm and you can attach a one by one bar with the clip through the stud with a hole and just push that in slightly at first because you're going to need space to attach another bar with a clip through the other end and you just basically want to get nice balance between the two and slide them in as far as possible and you can angle these around later so now to build the second arm which is a bit more interesting this time you can start off by taking another one of your round one by one brick pieces and this time you can take a lego neck bracket piece and you can get these in quite a few sets but you just attach that there and then on the back of that neck bracket piece attach another one of these studs with the bar hole in them attach that on the back there and through that you can take a lego space ray gun piece and this is obviously not a ray gun on the in-game big daddy but this is the start of the drill and you can finish off the massive drill piece by using this smaller drill tip or a unicorn horn piece and you can see how the other half of this ray gun really finishes off and makes this tiny little drill piece into a much larger drill that's very similar to one featured on the Big Daddy 
And then to finish that arm off, just take another clip with the bar on the end and just slide that in through there. So now we can take all of our arm assembly and go back to the oxygen tank and attach the other two pistols. And just attach one there and one through the stud on the opposite side. And from here you can attach your two arms and obviously you can position these a bit better once we have the completed Big Daddy all formed. But you can see how the clips on the end just attach towards the arms and you can start to see how all three pieces will come together to form the Big Daddy. So now finally to complete the Big Daddy, take all three of the sections that you've built and we'll start off with the legs and the body and to attach those together you just simply put the stud in the center in the center of the round plate on the bottom and just clip that in and again you can just position the legs just make sure that's in nice and tight and you can pose the legs however you want just spin the feet around a little bit more and you can see that should be in the center and that will look quite cool and then to put on the arms and the oxygen mask just attach this top clip here to the top one of these bar pieces or the bar plates and you can see that attaches just there and you can angle that slightly down so it's facing downwards and provides a little bit more shape and once you have all of the parts attached you can just do a bit of turning of all of the pieces such as these pistols at the back you can turn those a bit more inwards if you want the arms to face a little bit more forward and you can see how that translates to the front of the Big Daddy and allows you to pose it however you want. And there you have your completed Lego Big Daddy. So if you liked it please don't forget to let me know in the comments and maybe even like the video or share it because all your support is greatly appreciated. And I've done loads of other Lego video game builds and I'll leave a link to a playlist of those in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.